Yes guys, so another one with BBA. Welcome back to the channel. And um yeah, so this next one's a video at G4S, a place where I think they hold the cash um that they obviously distribute to different places. Um and so when I got there, I was on a live stream of public eyes and the police turned up on blue lights and I had a bit of an interaction with them and so forth. But it was all on Public Eye's live stream. So this first bit at the beginning is from a live stream. So I do apologise for a little bit of the talking over. Uh, but I think you can hear everything and make everything out that's being said. Um, yeah, so watch that guys. And then after that, when I come off the live stream and the uh, two police officers that turn up, I do believe they go into the building. So I come off the live stream at that point and then I then go back. No, I don't go back onto the live stream, sorry. I then started a video of what happened afterwards. So the first bit's going to be a live stream and then we get to the rest of the video. So I do apologise for the picture quality and everything else of the first bit. But I hope you enjoy this one, guys, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Sorry, just... oh, so I've got it, mate. Any questions. Um... What does it look like? I'm filming, aren't I? You've just had a report. You've just had a report that I'm filming. Yeah, you've just had a report that I'm filming. So I'd probably say that, yeah, that report's yeah. pretty accurate. Okay, I'm here with a phone because I want to. Okay. Um, public interest. Okay. They obviously are entitled to be done at home, So whether they like it or not, they don't really get a say in what I do, do they? I'm, I'm not that I'm no, no, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, well, but they've asked me to move and I don't want to. Well, if it's if it's secure, <laughs> if, if, if it's secure, then you've got yeah. nothing to worry about whatsoever. Because somebody stood out on a public footpath. Perform, no, not really, not really, no, not really. I don't see how uh, videoing alone is enough uh, suspicion for anything, to be honest. Uh, well, you said that the report was that, yeah, okay. Well, they may be, but okay, so the, okay, so we done? No, because I don't want to. Because I can do what I like, yeah? This is a lawful activity, right? So, because it's a lawful activity, I am going to go about my day doing what I was doing before you arrived, doing what I was doing before they spat their dummy out. OK, and that's what I'm going to do. So please don't think that you've got the right to stand here now just because you've got that uniform on and try and interrogate me on a lawful activity. When I'm breaking, hang on, when I'm breaking the law, why just by speaking to me? Why, why? I just said to you, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you, yet here you still are. Right, OK, and I'm still allowed to stand here. So you're asking me to move on from somewhere where I'm allowed to be. Why would you ask me? Why would you ask me to do something that I'm allowed to do? Well, I don't get... Nah. You're here. You are here to enforce the law. Okay? Enforce the law, officer. You have a lovely day. The pair of you have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. You're so, G4S, own. where they seem to have a problem with recording. And I'm being told to move away from the front of the entrance, which we will not be doing. Look there. That intercom needs to be pressed again, say... I don't oh, appreciate you calling the police. Let's wasting uh, what condition the car is while we're here, guys. Oh, yeah, let's, as well. let's have a look at these trade. Yeah, it's, 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 okay. it's, it's all right. right but it's all right. I hope they've locked it. Yeah, I hope they've locked the vehicle. Oh, no. I don't Should I? Well, double yellows are not. What are the partner now for? It's on the emergency. Well, guy, the camera's an emergency these days. West Midlands Police Have Sausages. Sausages! Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. It's a I bit filthy. Have... I haven't cleaned this one before they went out today, DJ. Should we write I've, I've, made a note in my... I've made a note in my notebook. Look at the pair of them, the little fucking <laughs> sausages. Both little scrubbers. Unit one, two, three. What do you reckon that's about? 
the inch of the rims uh, or no, what? I, I, tire I, pressure. I, I, tire I, pressure, I, yeah? Yeah, tire pressure. Say TK, don't ask him. Yeah, because they'll not know how big, you know, the, the pressure will be on them, will they? It's all different They're cars. Making different it. Yeah, oh, making it so idiot proof. Exactly. Sausages, man. Can you move away from where you are? No. Why? Why is it with everyone asking why? Just take what I tell you the first time as my answer and be done with well it. Well done. <laughs> well done. Sounds idiot. like George Pig from Peppa Pig. Uh, uh, also, also, I'm sure <laughs> there's a law. There is a law against uh, reporting false crimes. So I wonder when That's they come I mean. back, we're going to ask them if they're now going to go and speak to them about uh, exaggerating truths when phoning the police. <laughs> That's it. I'll be pressing that intercom. I know you've yeah, got a lot of money in there, but me. don't we don't appreciate you wasting taxpayers' money by calling the police with a man with a camera. It's not your money inside there you're paying them with, is it? It's our money. You're wasting our money. I know. I, I, I need to start carrying a little notepad with me. It's uh, It's definitely on the agenda to add. So, let's go and record them. I don't know why they're still... They've gone to stand down here and speak on the radio. I'm not too sure why. As I say, it's it's like Fort Knox anyway, guys. You you, you can't get into here. They've got an uh, electric fence. um, And and then, like, you've got one lot of gates. And then you've got to go through another lot of gates before you can even get into their yard. So... um, Can these police... Police... um... Can these hear us? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Hang on. Let me char- Let me plug you into my um, my charger because we're running low. We're running low on battery. Hang on, guys. Bear with me. And it's unusual for them to have them blind um, paving slabs, you know, when you lead up to pedestrian crossings right near their entrance. Well, as I say, um, the, the police, man, they've got a cheek to ask you to move on from a public place. Huh. You know? You, you might be the first person to ever be trespassed from a public footpath doing nothing wrong. <laughs> you know, what I don't <laughs> like understand is, if these places are so private and so secure and such a, uh, uh, you know, have to have tight security, then can you tell me why you can see straight through the fence? It's on a public road. Like, come on, your, your argument doesn't, doesn't fit. Doesn't BBH. fit. BBH. Just to the right-hand side, where them police uh, staff are, there's a sign that tells you about the fog machine and the fog deterrent. Where's and, that? Like, where, where they're standing, just down there a little bit. It'll be Does very, it? very interesting to see what they do when you start reading out that sign to say, yeah, guys, this has got the fog deterrent here. Oh, that's a shame. They've got fog deterrent here. Do, do, they, the sign. Are, do they? Shall we have that a look? Sign that sign right where they are now. Oh, yeah. So also, they do have a uh, fog deterrent. Oh, you're joking! They've got fog deterrent there. System. Oh, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be able to get far on that one then if they've got fog deterrent there. So yeah. Oh, that's so, uh, a shame. No, literally, look, look, electric fence. Yeah. Does it look like the fog machine works? Because if it works, we, I'll cross it off the list. Uh... <laughs> How do I activate it? <laughs> well, just have a look at this sign where it says fog machine. Who, who makes that fog machine there? Because some of them are really good manufacturers and some of them are not. So we just need to know who, who makes the fog machine on that one. Bandit UK. Oh, Bandit. That was the company that, um, yeah, the fog machine activated in 2000 when we did it in Essex that day. All right. Uh, when Johnny got caught, he got five years for it. So it might be all right on that one. Um, while you're there, officers, it might be worth uh, educating them on photography. Photography is not a crime. Get a bare fog machine. Photography is not a crime, guys. 
sausage. Oh dear, you know that's a wild one. You yeah. fucking pigsty! <laughs> Let's, let's proper stand in the turnstile just to piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, baby. I will try and climb through it, but there ain't no way a fat man is getting through those little bars. Zion, we got bad bump when I go down the shop in a minute. Thank you. So wait to the burglar alarm. What happens then? I feel like in a minute I might have to shut this down for when they come back out just so I can get a little video, you know. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. 100%. Yeah, go on. Get a really good video out of it, Bear. I've got a little bit of a clip for you, but it, it kept on changing the uh, portrait to landscape, but I'll send it They've to you. They've got to come back to the car. They've got to come back to the car. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to ask them if they educated them on uh, public photography. <laughs> Or actually, in fact, if they're even educated on it themselves, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, they haven't got a clue, sausages. Just say they so, what did you see? The memo, guys. Did you see anything anything interesting inside? Because I'd love to go in. Did you see any money? How much have they got no, inside? No, literally, you cannot get in, mate. And there's not really a lot. You've got a couple of uh, white... Um, shit, I don't even know what they're called. They are transits, aren't they? You know, the small ones. Yeah, Is it a transit? Yeah, yeah. It might not be. Get yourself a proper video from it, BBA. Yeah, that's what I think, yeah. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to jump out. I'm going to... Yes, yes, and everyone, guys, with BBA. And uh, I've been here at uh, G4S for a little while, but I was on a live stream. Um, so that interaction was on public eyes. And I'm, I've just literally um, doing a little bit of filming outside where someone did come on the intercom and ask what I was doing. I did tell him I was recording, um, and I was just doing a little video on G4S, and he asked me why, to which I turned around and said, because I want to, and he said, yeah, but why? And I said, well, that's my reason. What I've just given you is my reason. Here we've got another G4S fan coming in. Um, I told him that is my reason. And, like, you're being a bit stupid to, like, you know. So... Yeah, the police have gone in anyway. The police have come. They did try and ask me to move on from this public footpath. As I told them, no, that's not happening. Um, I won't be moving on from no public footpath. And, uh, yeah. So, I did tell them that I was a bit annoyed that they were here, as I was not doing anything I wasn't allowed. And now, uh, here they are, just about to come back out. Absolute joke. Just trying to do a video, get some of the uh, vehicles coming in and out and what vehicles they use. Uh, they do have some uh, heavier goods vehicles. Did you educate them on the fact that I'm allowed to be photographing now, yeah? 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 Oh, how come it is you both don't want to talk to me now? You had loads to say before and now you don't want to speak to me. Strange, that. Two, three, two, two, four. Two four six zero nine. That's their um, collar numbers. Funny, these had loads to say just before. I'm a bit gutted that uh, I don't have the footage. I'm going to try and get it. So if I get it between now and when I release this video, I will. Uh, I will put it at the beginning of this video. But these actually come on blue lights as well. They actually turn up here on blue lights. And now they've come back out, they're not even willing to, uh, they're not even willing to talk to me. Seems a bit strange. So. Does seem rather strange that they don't want to talk to me now. They had loads to say before. About how I should move on from a public footpath, which I definitely shouldn't. This out of the, uh, you've got, like I say, they've got to go through a first gate, and then once they go through that first gate, that first gate closes, and then they have to wait for the second gate to open. And um, that's how they get themselves in. But as I say, they do have some uh, bigger vehicles here as well. They don't just have the vans. I think they have some seven and a half ton trucks. 
they're a little bit more heavy duty they are i don't know if they're for the more uh high se security kind of uh places with a uh, higher security i don't know if it's for them or not but as we say as you can see a few vans coming in now so maybe it's the end of the day for a few of them they've done their uh their rounds But we've still got the police sat here and I'm not too sure why they're still sat here, if I'm honest. But... As I say, you got a... Uh, ring for the pedestrian gate and then this one's to ring security for access to turnstile only so i think they're two separate buzzers and uh one of the reasons i come to g4s today is um because <laughs> As an auditor, we find that a lot of these G the people that are employed by G4S talk a lot of nonsense and they use a lot of uh, intimidation tactics. G4S also have, uh, if not all, a lot of the uh, HMP contracts. So G4S does deal with a lot of the HMP prisons up and down the country. And again, they just don't seem to be at all educated on uh, public photography and what is a lawful activity and what isn't not too sure why they're just parked up here thought they were done can't believe they turn up on blue lights for a man with a camera as well like I say I hope that I can get that bit of footage to you if not I do apologize as I say I was on a live stream um, didn't get any interaction so I didn't think we were gonna also they're parked on uh, double yellows which they shouldn't be Look, double yellow lines. Oh, she's gone back in. You do realise you're parked on double yellows, yeah? Pardon? No, oh, okay, really looks like it, yeah. So responding to an incident. So to respond to an incident, they have to park on double yellow lines, which if anyone else done, we'd be ticketed for. But uh, as we all know, the police are a law, law to themselves. And um, certainly Warsaw police seem to have a really crap attitude. And to be honest, as long as I keep getting these interactions from Warsaw police like this, they're gonna carry on getting recorded. Look at that for parking. They just don't care. They just don't care. Absolute joke. So, as you just see me try and tell them, they are parked on double yellow lines across the path as well, which is where people have actually got across the road. So now somebody's got to walk round and they've got to walk into this, this area here, which is meant to be kept clear for um, vehicles coming in and out of the uh, the depot and uh, they're parked so that the public have to actually go into that zone which again isn't great but because they're responding to an incident 
they seem to think it's okay to just uh, park up where they like. Also, another reason I'm here is because um, on a little bit of footage that I filmed a few weeks ago, I was actually in town and I wasn't filming a G4S van specifically, um, but the guy was like getting all funny about me recording and tried telling me what to do. So <laughs> I was like, I tell you what, mate, I'm going to find one of your depots and, uh, and I'll just go and film there. So that's another reason why I'm here today. Just to prove that um, I have every right to film in a public place. I want you lot to uh, let me know how long it is that they've been parked there on double yellows. They're not responding to any incident at all. They're just... Uh, waiting to see me move on i'm sure if i was to walk off from here they would um they would soon drive off too not even responding to a incident i can see them both just sat there talking to one another having a good old uh chin wag Here we have a few more uh, G4S vans coming in. I'm waiting to see if we can get one of their uh, heavier goods vehicles coming in, to be honest, than, the, um, than all these vans, but looks like the most commonly used vehicle from this depot anyway is these vans here. And they are... Um, Mercedes Sprinter vans that they use. Just check to make sure they are all Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. It seems to be that all the vans um, that they're using seem to be Mercedes Sprinter vans. It's gonna s tell me how they're responding to an incident. Look. This is crazy. I want to go, to be honest, but I'm not leaving just simply because I feel like they're part there trying to intimidate me to leave. And that's not happening, as they know from the interaction they got with me when they first pulled up. Be honest as well with them being a female i didn't really want to um have to be rude but you know when people are trying to tell you to move on from a public place and trying to stop you doing a lawful activity i kind of get a little bit shirty with that i'm not gonna lie That's it, but what time it is now that you've had to stop me. I'll pick this back up in a minute because I don't just want you to have to carry on looking at a parked up car 
an illegally parked up police car as well let me add and yes as you see earlier on in the video I did try to uh, tell them and the answer I got is I'm responding to an incident oh okay so we're gonna watch here as I say this is how it works you'll have um, this gate shut And then it's only when this gate shuts that the second gate will open. So it is quite a secure place, as you would expect, dealing with um, cash. They've got a um, premises protected by Fog Bandit high-speed security fogging system. And that fogging system, the manufacturers of that are Bandit UK. And you can check out their website at www.bandituk.co.uk These are finally going to move on, I think. I think they finally realised that um, there ain't nothing they can do about me being here. So, ta-ta. And there we are. What a waste of time blue lighting that was. Oh, that one's just about to go out by the looks of it. And then what I'm going to do is you can walk around the back of this place and there's a... Uh, you can walk around the back along the canal I don't know if I'm actually going to walk us around there. Seems a bit pointless. As I say, if I can get any of the footage from when they first turned up, where I was on a live stream, I'll try and get that footage and I will stick it at the beginning of this. Apologies, though, for the fact that you'll hear other people on the panel and other things going on in the, uh, in the live stream. But as I say, I will try and add it to this. If it doesn't get added, I apologise. And if we've got to this point of the video and um, it has been added, then it's been added, guys. You've got it. <laughs> I managed. We managed to get that footage. But uh, yeah, th this is all it was. Just quickly check out G4S. This is somewhere where they clearly hold cash um, for them to respond the way they did. And um, yeah, that was it, guys. G4S. Still don't know about um, public photography laws, which I am so surprised by that they still haven't got it yet. You know, all these auditors they keep seeing turning up and they keep trying to uh, use bully boy tactics or we go to these prisons where we keep educating them yet they still keep responding in the same way. It is a shame really. But yeah, as I say guys, I'm gonna get a little visual of a van and then uh, we're going to disappear. So there we have it. G4S. And this is... Um, you'll find this place on Leemore Lane. Blockswitch, Warsaw. And uh, thanks for joining, guys. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment and uh, I shall see you on the next one. Much love and respect. Peace out, guys.